Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to go through how you can add BIF thumbnails to your videos so you get the same functionalities we have on this player where you can hover over the progress bar and it will display images throughout your video that you can quick skip to similar to what it does with Netflix. Okay, So let's get started. We've got our account here and we've already linked it with Amazon. So what we're going to do is we're just going to upload our video that we're going to be using in this tutorial so we've got our video and we've also got an image that we're going to be using as well so let's just upload our video first okay so it's just a mod file leave all the settings as is and I'm just going to pause the video while that uploads okay great so you can see our video is now uploaded here and it's in our S3 bucket so just wanted to show you as well if you wanted to create these two buckets here these two setups that have all the functionality with CloudFront attached to this um, delivery bucket uh, then you can do all that by heading over to S3 Bubble under S3 you can then run one of the quick bucket setups and just run the full OTT AWS setup okay so if you run this it's going to ask for your bucket names and it's going to create a storage bucket and a delivery bucket to create your full workflow okay so now we've got our file up into our S3 bucket we want to go and encode this to HLS adaptive bitrate so similar to Netflix where it will digress in pixels and pick up in pixels depending on the internet connection so we can go to media convert check we've got our master file and this is what we're going to be doing here we're going to be downloading the Netflix um, desktop app Netflix Flums de desktop app sorry um, and this is what we're going to be using to create our thumbnail so I've already downloaded it and logged in you can see we've got the app on a desktop here and this is what we're going to be using to create our BIF files so let's just go ahead and encode this file to HLS so we can leave all the settings and we're not going to be doing our adverts yet but we will add adverts to this tutorial we want it to go to our delivery bucket and we're going to use a random ID this doesn't have to be a random ID you could put in Top Gun. it can be anything you want for your folder setup and then we're going to use the CloudFront distribution that is set up for us when we went through our OTT for setup, quick setup. And for encoding templates, what we're going to use is our S3 Bubble OTT HLS cost saving template. Okay, so this is a template that you can create under services um, and media convert and templates in the actions menu. Okay, so we're going to submit. And let's just go and see our job progressing. Okay, great. So you can see our job is progressing. So what we're going to do now, just as a little extra, is we're going to actually create a advert that we're going to be using at specific intervals throughout this video. Okay, so to do that, what we want to do is we want to grab our advert file, and we have an advert in our delivery bucket. So let's go to delivery bucket, and let's go into we've created an ads folder, and you can see that we're going to be using this ad here. Okay, so it's just a mp4 from Pexels and it's just a quick kind of advertising tutorial just something that we can use um, for this tutorial so we're going to create a CloudFront URL and we're going to be using the same Euro, uh, CloudFront distribution that we used before we can click create and we're going to copy that okay now if we head over to AdSpeed, AdSpeed lets you set up advertising so what we can do is what we want is we've gone to ads create ad and we're going to create a video vast compliant ad name we'll put in uh, BIF, because that's kind of what we're doing. Um, video file URL, this is the URL that we just uh, put in. So we want to make it skippable just because I don't want to be watching the ads on each video. Destination URL, we could send it to, let's send it to the S3 Bubble website. So HTTP S S3 Bubble.com. Okay, so we'll send it to the S3 Bubble website. So let's click save. Okay, so what we can do now is view it and edit settings for this ad. You can see we've got our advert there. We want to go to ad tag. And let's just copy this ad tag here, okay, because this is what we're going to be using in our VMAP setups. Okay, so let's go back to S3 Bubble. And let's go into our services, media convert and jobs, just to see how our job's progressing. Okay, great, so you can see our job is now complete. So let's go and view the player. Okay, great. So you can see we've got our video here. We can click play. And what we're doing now is we're streaming via HLS adaptive bitrate, and we've got all our different settings here. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to add a BIF image to this player. So we can simply come over to our files again. Let's open up the desktop app. 
just going to drag it over. I'm just going to drag the movie into the desktop app, okay? So you can see that was really quick and it's created our BIF file. So let's go ahead and start adding our files to our player. So let's add our BIF file. Okay. Give a second to upload. So we've got our BIF file added now and then let's also add our video poster. Okay, so we've got our video poster here. Okay, so we've got a video poster and we've got our BIF images. So that's how easy it was to set up our player with BIF file and BIF images. And one extra thing we can do now is if we go back and just grab our, I'm not sure if that was copied into clipboard still, so I'm just going to go and get it. And then we can create a, a VMAP advert builder. Okay, So this allows us to decide where we want the advert to be displayed within our video. So what we can do is we can come in here and let's just say we want to create one at the start fast URL, we'll have one at the start, we'll just call this start, and then what we're going to do is let's play the video, and let's say we want one after six seconds, so let's add, let's just add another one because we'll put one at the end as well, so we'll just put this six seconds, and we want our time offset, okay, so we're going to paste that in, and then this one's just going to be end, okay, and now we can leave that as end as well. Okay, so we've pretty much set that up now, that's what we want, so it's going to display an ad at the start, it's going to display the ad at 6 seconds, and then it's going to display it at the end. So we can click save and continue. So what we want to do is we want to put this back in our delivery bucket, we're going to put it in our ads folder, and we'll call this biff slash vmap. Okay, and there we go, that's all we need. Click submit. Let's go ahead and take a look at our file. Okay, so we've got a biff vmap file here so what we can do is we can create a URL for this file same as before create copy and now what we can do is we can head back to our video player and we can add the URL okay so we can paste that in here add URL okay so now if we click play we've got our advertisement at the front which will skip after two seconds then we'll have our ad play in at Six seconds. Okay, we will skip, and then we'll have our advert playing at the end. Okay, so that's a great way to just get set up. And now, sorry, I should probably notice is you can literally, if you've got the WordPress plugin, you can simply copy this, um, copy this HTML, and then you can paste it into any um, post page plugin, um, anything like that. And as long as you've got the plugin installed, it will display this player onto your website. Okay. So I hope that was a useful tutorial. Any questions, drop us a line at support at s3bubble.com. Thanks.